Aloha and welcome to Making Love Visible. I'm so glad you've joined me today. I have the most amazing guest and I'd like to say that this show could be primarily for women, although if you're a man and you're watching, I will bet you dimes to donuts that you know some women that could watch this show with you and that you can share what you're viewing today. Let's see, where can I begin? A couple uh, months ago, somebody introduced the idea to me to apply for a grant with the YWCA. And I said, well, what the heck, why not? I'd like to use that for my business, Heart Cards Global. And so I applied and I made it to the semifinals and then I made it to the finals and I got to pitch uh, a pitch speech that lasted mm, about, um, I think it was like three to four minutes. It was a very short pitch and I had to be really quick about it. And while I wasn't a winner, I completely won because I met this lady. <laughs> so I'd like to introduce you to Val Kubota. Val, thank you so much for being here today. June, thanks for the invitation. Yeah. Thank you. It was so great. So even though I was not the winner of the uh, $6,000 grant, I, I became overwhelmed with all of the attention that I received. There were probably 60 or 70 people in that room that got to hear all of these women entrepreneurs step up to the stage, give their pitch, show their slide deck, and ask for support. And it was really, really amazing. And then afterwards, I was blessed because Val came up to me and she said, I need to talk to you. And I'm like, yes, I don't know what it's about. But she says, I think I have something for you. And I have always had the desire to be wanted. Well, in a variety of ways, making love visible, right? And so Val said, let's set up an appointment. And I'd like to take it from there if you'd like to share the beginning of our story together and what you do for the YWCA. And then I've got a whole bunch of questions for you. Sure, absolutely. And June, you did a wonderful job that evening. And, you know, and talking to several people after, they remember your presentation and you know even the judges they said it was such such a hard um, time to pick right all the women did fabulous jobs and you can tell you all worked really hard to put your presentations together and your you know your passion for what you pitching for yes. it showed up like you said you made your love visible <laughs> for it Thank so you. it was, it was great. a great yeah it was and it was a great story there was a great story how you you know, shared how you even happened to get the deck of cards. So, um, yeah, and I think, you know, we did. We exchanged business cards that night, and, you know, you responded right away, and, you know, we set up an appointment, and like they said, the rest is history, but I think since then, we've probably interacted and met and collaborated with other women business owners at least a half a dozen times. So. I'm yes. thrilled to be yes. here today. So when Val asked me to meet her, uh, she said, well, let's meet at Starbucks over, uh, we, we, we found a place over off of Ward, and um, as we got to talking, I all of a sudden burst into tears in public, like randomly, and I don't cry like any way ever. I just don't. I'm never so emotionally moved, unless maybe I'm watching some sob movie or something like that. And um, I just thanked her for seeing me and what I had to offer. And uh, I, I feel that that gift, that the background that you have, mm. having come from corporate banking to being an entrepreneur to now working with um, the YWCA, has come full circle where you are able to actually see what women are up to and how to support them. And I'm wondering from that full Monty of all this abundance, how are you feeling about your career now and what exactly do you do with the YWCA? Well, thank you for asking, June, and I do recall that moment <laughs> that you got a little emotional, And but you know, it, it, was, it was very pure, it was, you know, wasn't an act or, you know, it just happened, right? We had a really great conversation, I think. Um, you had a journey yourself right different careers different relationships different right we talked about so many things and i think that's the part um, for me that i like is learning people's stories because no matter what there's always a story right that leads to where we are sitting here today mm -hmm. and like you said i i feel very fortunate to have come full circle you're right um, 
and hopefully um, where I'm at now is you know kind of using my gifts to kind of help others and I think that's where I come from a, a real place of wanting to help and seeing where you know we can share resources or support. So in that umbrella of the YWCA down on Richard Street there's so much activity going on there from their clothing program to different educational programs. How does the grant system fit in for or how does the grant fist system fit into what's being offered there and how do people learn about what you're connected to? Thanks for asking because you know a lot of times people drive by um, the YWCA and it's a beautiful historical building. Um, they come in and they have lunch at Cafe Julia yeah. and you know they often wonder right what's going on in that building. Um, and again, you know, coming full circle, like you said, I've been fortunate enough to be a part of the YWCA close to 20 years now as a volunteer, as an employee, and once, and this is actually my second time around as an employee. So it has been, you know, a great, great experience. And I'm so fortunate that I've met so many good people through my experience there. And um, I can honestly say that, you know, all the good things that are going on, I mean, you know, we could probably sit here for hours and talk about all the great things going on. But, you know, in particular, you asked about our grant and um, that grant did come from the Minority Business Development Agency or the MBDA. And um, the YWC has been fortunate to have the um, women's business center there for the last 10 years and that's where I initially started as well and that grant came from the Small Business Administration or SBA so it made sense that um, you know the Y try for this new grant it's called Capital Readiness Grant and um, we've been doing it for almost a year now and we have four, three more years of a four-year grant and it's just been incredible to work with small business owners like yourself oh. women in particular it's a focus on women but we do help men as well I just had a thought yes she's a gold digger <laughs> and what I mean by that she's looking for people that are so excited about their business that they will be gold mines for making love visible the kinds of people that are connected in this group of women, oh my gosh, it's just extraordinary the work that these women are doing. And what I mm -hmm. mean by being a gold digger, she's looking for people, she's mining for people with her skills, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you have all of these skills and you're looking for people that have some sort of magic or drive that says, I've got it all, I'm just missing one piece, and oh my gosh, what's a profit and loss paper? <laughs> What's a cash flow balance paper, uh, i.e. Miss June? Uh, and so am, am I, would I be correct to say that that's part of what you do is looking for, looking for those that would fit the grant program? No, that's absolutely correct. And, you know, I'm, I'm glad that you have observed <laughs> that because, like I mentioned earlier, we've been, you know, together doing some collaborations um, out in the community. Yeah. And, um, yes, truly, as you hit it right on the head yeah. right there. You know, um, I know small business, they're so busy working on their business, right? Um, you know, sometimes they just don't have time, right, to sit down and start to look for what kind of resources could help them. So, you know, word of mouth, mm -hmm. right, the different networks that we all are mm -hmm. part of, and, you know, just sharing and just referrals. So yeah. that's the best, right, that's the best way to get word of mouth. I have to say, Val, when I first met you, you have such a warm, encompassing feeling mm -hmm. that I didn't feel threatened. I didn't feel like, oh, I have a small product, or I don't know enough, or I'm not going to be this way or that way. Your, um, your style was so embracing of uh, kindness that um, it sort of like, it nipped away at me. It's like, oh, she's inviting me to do this. She's inviting me to do that. I'm like, well, if Val's going, I got to go because I'll be safe with Val sort of thing. Then mm. what I've discovered is that these environments and these groups that you've invited me to, there are all of these women that are of that same uh, energy field where they're all just dabbling, trying to figure out 
What do I need for my business? What are the resources? Who can hold my hand? Who can support me? Can I make this dream happen? And so you're, uh, you're a dream maker. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. Do you know that? You're a dream maker. <laughs> well, Val Kubota is a dream maker. <laughs> well, well, thank you. That's yeah. very kind With of With the work say. of the dreamer. I, ha I get that I have to step up. Yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, again, as I mentioned, there's many women, people out there, right? A um, lot of their ideas, a lot of their businesses start off as a little side hustle, right? Or they have talent. You know, they make... They make a cupcake and they give it to their neighbors and their neighbors say, hey, June, you, you got to sell this. It's incredible, right? And, you know, it starts that way. And then, you know, part of the whole um, YWCA, Empowering Women, um, you know, it gives them that, right? They give them the purpose. It gives them something that they can feel proud of. And, you know, so from there they start, um, you know, doing what they know how to do, whether it's yes. bake cupcakes, sew a dress, make jewelry, um, you know, so many different talents. And no idea is not a good idea. Like, I feel like everybody is lifted up. And so when you come to this group and everybody feels so, it's like you're high on life because you're, you're with all these other entrepreneurs or creators or dreamers. Um, it's like having a room full of unicorns. And uh, you're getting together and you all feel like you're doing the same colorful dance. And it's a relief to be with cheerleaders like yourself mm -hmm. instead of all the people that say, oh, well, have you thought of this or thought of that? Not to say that having um, a devil's advocate isn't important because those are the people that help keep us on a path, yet it's often the delivery that stings or hurts. Mm. And so I found in speaking with you, when uh, Val asked me to join one of the programs and advance along, if I had a cash flow statement and a profit and loss statement and a balance sheet and all these things, even though I've owned a wedding business for 13 years, I don't manage or know those words of, I, I had a little self implosion. And mm -hmm. I thought I'm not gonna make it. I'm just, I'm not, she's not who I think I am. I'm an imposter. Or, you know, like all these things came up for me and you said, no, June, let's talk again. And I felt like you got who I was really, or where I was coming from, because you saw my vision for the future. And so for entrepreneurs, when you're clear about what your perfect end result is, mine is making love visible in everything that I do, mm. primarily using the heart cards, in that, that action and what you see people in supporting them and get your crap together, let me help you. Well, you're right, June, because <laughs> like, like I say, you know, we talk to small business every day, all the time, right? And they have a passion for what they do. Um, and, you know, some of the resources that we have, right, is there to, like you said, show them how important it is to keep your eye, right, on your bottom line. Yes. Because, you know, things, days go by, months go by, and before you know it, things start to, you know, really grow. And, um, you know, at some point, people are, are, are just kind of stuck and they need just to get that little bit of support to get over that. And, um, you know, you mentioned imposter, right? There's a lot of people that have that imposter feeling. They're like, wow, I sold all my cupcakes or I sold all my dresses or jewelry and people really like what I'm doing, And right? And there's, getting all this affirmation, but at the same time, right, they're still very, very afraid inside. And so yeah. it's, it's, it's great, like you said, that other women can come together and support each other because we're all feeling the same way. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So where, where would one begin in either reaching out to you or to somebody at the YWCA down on Richard Street? Uh, and part of the reason why I wanted to do this show with you is because it was a random email that came through from a friend of mine that said, June, you should apply for this grant. And so I don't know how many people get random emails like that with friends watching out for them. Yet mm. hopefully somebody that's watching or if maybe it's you, you're watching, you are now able to say, I'm going to the <laughs> YWCA. So how does one get started? So, you know, you're right. Um, you know, the YWCA has programs, like you mentioned, about the Dress for Success. Um, and the business programs are just one of the programs under the YWCA. And if you go to the YWCAWahoo.org website, 
you know, you'll see all of the different offerings there. And um, I'm sure your friend saw the pitch competition yeah. um, there or sign up for a newsletter. And, um, you know, we put our offerings out there. Um, but a lot of it has to do with just boots on the ground, right, and talking to businesses. Um, we work with all the local banks. We work with, you know, the state. We work with the city and county. And there's so many resources out there. And, um, you know, just meeting together and just helping each other spread the word because there really is abundance of support out there, resources. and. You know, especially after COVID, I think, you know, the government sees how resilient, right, small business was during that time, pivoting, yes. making changes, right? And, you know, small business is a backbone of our economy. So yeah. the resilience, I think, and perseverance, all those um, characteristics it takes to be an yeah. entrepreneur. So there's certainly a lot of support out there. Yeah. We tell people all the time, don't do it yourself, right? Belong to groups, belong to different yeah. organizations that are there to support <laughs> you. It kind of makes me laugh when you, I heard you say that last night, and I just laughed out loud because I have a wedding business, and the only people that I bellyache to are a couple people within my industry because we have that same conversation. We're trying not to and we're lifting each other up at the same time. And yet it's important to be able to feed each other uh, and learn from our experiences. And I feel like I've opened up a whole new world, mm. a whole new body by having this invitation from you to join in. One thing Val said to me, well, you probably had a stack of business cards. Well, I did. I had a few business cards when I left that night. And the only one that's remained connected is Val. And mm. what I want to say as an entrepreneur, don't become disappointed because there's a reason everything works mm. the way that it does. It's all in divine timing. There's mm. nothing not flowing that's not a benefit to you. You just need to be mindful of that. Mm -hmm. And when I saw Val's energy and I felt that and she handed me her card, I said, I need to be in touch with this woman. She's got some magic that interests me. And she wrote me back right away and we've developed a friendship and um, learning about business together. And bottom line, I said last night at an event and I <laughs> shared this earlier, uh, that um, menopause and entrepreneur, entrepreneurship <laughs> is kind of the same. We know that there's a lot of information and we just shoo it under the carpet. And so wherever you're at, just don't do that. Like mm. step up to your dreams and be all that you are. That's, very good advice, yeah, very just, good advice. And I'm 62 and I'm doing it, but it's taken a long time. Well, it's never too late, right? <laughs> it's it's never, time. never too late. And, you know, just your comment <laughs> about, you know, not giving up, right? Yeah. Just because you don't hear from someone, mm. you know, in two months, you never right. know, right? It, it's mm. amazing how things come around again and you meet up with someone again. <coughs> So you're right, just, yeah. you know, I think showing up and I think that's what we spoke about last night too, because a lot of times, you know, we have resources, we have workshops, we have webinars and, you know, hundreds of people register and a handful show up, right? It's but scary. It's scary to show up to your dreams and then you become an entrepreneur and I, I can't tell you how many times I go back to thinking, well, I worked for Delta Airlines for 12 years. Maybe I should go back to the airline. Maybe I should, uh, mm. like this. Or why don't you just stick to weddings? You've been doing weddings for mm. 13 years. You know this. And that little inkling that just keeps you, keeps nudging you, say, I need to go. I need to go to the YWCA to get some support and just do it. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you did. And I'm glad your friend yeah. saw the pitch contest. <laughs> Me too. So I have a, a couple more questions because yes. we have some more time. Of course. In the years that you've been working with the YWCA, what is what, what might be one or two of the most exciting projects that were bottom of the barrel that just blossomed into something that was like, wow, I'm so glad I got to see that transform. Can you think of anything off the top? Well, you know, I mentioned, <laughs> I mentioned, you know, the Patsy T. Mink Center for Business and Leadership. So, you know, that's 10 years in the making and, um, you know, seeing thousands of women come through, you know, men as well. But, you know, just when you see them, you know, five years later, 10 years later, right, and you still see them 
plugging away and working hard on their businesses and, you know, surviving through COVID, um, you know, just seeing familiar faces in the community because, you know, we live in such a small community, right? And um, I think that was was and still is a great success. Um, you know, as a matter of fact, um, they're going to open a new women's business center in Maui. Wow. So that's really exciting. Yes. And, um, you know, I think... You know, when you work for a nonprofit organization, right, a lot just falls on the small staff, right, and everybody has to wear so many different hats. Um, so I think just watching, you know, my coworkers, our teammates, people, you know, come together. Uh, we just did something pretty fun. Um, if you go to the YWCA Instagram page, we, we did a little Olympics opening with the team. <laughs> How fun! <laughs> it was. It, YWCA on Instagram. Yes. Okay, does yes. it say? YWCA uh, Oahu. Oahu, okay. Yes. Got it. And, you know, when, when they're filming you, you don't know how it's going to end up, right? Just like today, right? You have a studio, they take, and you yeah. don't know what it's going to look like yeah. later. But they did such a cool job. And we were, you know, had so much fun doing it. And they're going to have, I think, roll out um, several different uh, versions <laughs> fun. as the Olympics is, you know, rolling out. And, yeah, I think, you know, you, you got to make work fun, right? Yeah. you got to, um, you know, find those times, right, yeah. where everyone's working so hard, right? Everybody's doing more yeah. with less. But when you can come together as a team and do things and, mm -hmm. you know, just laugh about it, you know, tease each other about it, you know, then you yes. all know that, um, you know, you're all there for a common goal, yes. right? And, you know, just being such a big, you know, player in the community, yes. I think, you know, there's a lot of great organizations out there and you see, see it all every day. And I think, you know, we're just privileged and, um, you know, grateful to be in a state yeah. of, like Hawaii and yeah. I can imagine that the YWCA is thriving greater than it ever has thanks to the pandemic and thanks to people wanting to get connected and finding resources. So when we walked into the studio today, you began to tell me a little story about something you found in this book. And we have just about four and a half minutes left. So and I want to hear the story again sure. because it gave me chicken skin. <laughs> yes, it was. It gave me chicken skin. I didn't even expect it. So um, earlier in the year, a really dear friend and a mentor of mine um, gifted me with this book. Build right? the Life You Want. Yes. And it's Arthur written, Brooks mm -hmm. and, Oprah and Oprah Winfrey, Winfrey okay. right? And I've been an Oprah Winfrey fan, right, for the <laughs> last 30 years and watching her show and, you know, always been a fan. But Well, you know you're sitting in her seat. Oprah always sits on that side. So there you go. Oh, see? I, Maybe you're going to have a show it. next. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't think so, June. <laughs> but, you know, we talked about it and you told me, you know, you have a show. And I said, well, what are we going to do? And you said, we're just going to talk story, right? Just like we always do. And we, we have really great conversations like the one in Starbucks. But, um, you know, so I just thought, well, I'm not sure what what we're going to talk about around making love visible and i i had you know it was gifted the book and i shared it with a friend she read it gave it back to me it was sitting on my desk for a couple months and i said well you know maybe there's something in here that would strike up some inspiration for me so i opened it up and i started reading and in chapter seven the name of the chapter is work that is love made visible <laughs> like, li can you right folks here. see this work that is love made visible? And, and, I, yeah, I was speechless. And I reread the chapter. I thought about it, and really, right, what it comes down to is when you're doing something that you love, right? Like they say all the time, it's not like work. And when you're able to use your gifts and able to see gifts in other people. Yeah and see how you can connect people and help people. I think that's what it just boils down to, yes. right? wanting to help people, right? And that's what we try to do and support. <laughs> and so if you want to read it, you're welcome to as well. I I'd love to share yes, it. Yes, thank you. Yes. Thank you. No, it's a beautiful. You, and of course, I'll pass it back to you to, 
to gift along again. Yes, that's it. Val, that's thank it. you so much. You do make love visible in the work that mm. you do, and I wanted everybody in the community to see this. I mean, just to be able to have this time with you and break down a little bit more of how I, using my voice through this program, can share it throughout the month, and then it stays on the internet. And so people can come across it and, and reach out to the mm -hmm. YWCA and YWCA on Richard Street downtown. Yes. And just go in and see what it's about and don't be scared. Mm -hmm. um, Val is most welcoming as is all of the staff in there. They're incredibly kind. So maybe take a girlfriend or a boyfriend or somebody with you that uh, can hold your hand if you're afraid or uh, and come in and meet some beautiful people in their office. The resources are fantastic. And the bottom line is, you're worth it, and so are your dreams. So Val. Thank you, June. Thank you for being here. Bless you and thank your sweetheart you. and the way you make love you're visible. So kind. Thank, thank you. you. And to all of you who are watching today, thank you again for joining. And just remember, go down to the YWC and Richard Street. It could be the place where all your dreams blossom. So let's make some love visible together. Thanks for watching. Aloha. Mm -hmm.